Hey, welcome to Slay the Spider. Today, playing the daily challenge for July 21st, 2024. The character Death Defect and the Modifier Insanity start with a random deck of 50 cards. Vintage, normal enemy, drop relics instead of cards. And terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP. Start each combat with five plated armor. I see Sita here with 1488, Steven with 1482, and uh, did I see Vorpal here small? Oh, P-Gem here, 1463, right. Yeah, great scores here. Let's see how I can do. So Insanity, Vintage means that... Uh, well, let's see if I can try to go for Highlander. Already starting off with two extra Ball Lightnings and one extra Charge Battery. No, no, there are too many duplicates. That's a shame. So I guess I will have to try to go for Collector Bonuses. Maybe... Uh, what do you call it the uh, courier would be great so i already have a collector bonus on the go for the ice and the leaps which is kind of nice and uh, i am close to getting a few more i'll check the the cards once i uh once i'm being offered some all right there's two no one two elite path on the left only yeah the other paths are only one elite paths so if i go on the left i'll get one two only two question mark rooms but i think it is worth the extra elite hopefully i can perfect that one and get an extra 25 points all right, also the opening boot sequence is kind of nice. Let's start with the recursion, loop, charge, battery, claw, and don't need to play the boot sequence, especially with the block from terminal. Mm -hmm. And then here, sure, let's do storm, sweeping beam, claw again, and compile driver for a kill with the orb. All right. That war paint on pickup, upgrade two random skills. That's leap and boot sequence upgraded, as well as an attack potion. Okay. All right, cultist here, FTL first. That's not bad. Go for the S claw, cold snap. Yeah, this is uh, this might be tough. I need to get lucky on turn one and two, really. Um, I think I'll rebound the um, ball lightning. And then does barrage kill? 12 plus 6 is 18. Yeah, that should be enough. Actually, I would have been fully defended anyway. Okay. Got to recall, if you end your turn without blocking six block, that together with the, um, with the terminal plated armor would give me 11 block every turn plus whatever frost drop I have. So that might be good against these sentries. All right, Jawworm FTL again. Happy to see a skim here. Let's go for the ice skim, chill, and I sort of think I should do streamline here. And no need to play the boot sequence because of our Calcum. Did I have a single hologram? I do. I do have one, so that I, it does make sense not to play the boot sequence if I don't have to. Storm. I guess I can do Blizzard and not much else. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I need 13 damage, which I should be able to do with my attacks. Nice. All right, got prayer wheel, normal enemies drop additional card award, which is hilarious because I have the vintage. They should really disable prayer wheel with vintage, right? Because they do disable some other combinations there. Oh, genetic algorithm. I didn't realize I had one. Oh, I should have probably delayed some fights to try to get it upgraded. Let's do it now. Uh, then to go for the ice cold snap. Actually, let's rebound the cold snap. Minus small. And then here, 10. Um, I, yeah, let's play the boot sequence. Don't want to take any damage here. Mm-hmm. All right, um, I could do two loops. Let me do Cold Snap first. Then um, I can do a one energy. No, wait. Uh, with the Orcalcum, I should be fine, right? So I think I'll just do Ball Lightning and then play the loop. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, loop and the Orcalcum with the Frost Drop up front is a problem. So I shouldn't be so quick to do that in the future. Fine. All right, got Strike Damage cards containing Strike. Deal three additional damage. I don't think I have any Strike cards at the moment, but maybe I'll get some. Uh, here, I could get a curse. Zap all for one. Yeah, I'm not sure about all for one. Parasite would not be bad. Hologram would not be bad. I don't think I need zap or static discharge. Don't need the all for one. And I could either take hologram or hope for a parasite. Yeah, I did get the parasite. Beautiful. I got one curse out of that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Here, I honestly don't know what to upgrade. I I could. I guess I could upgrade some curses or some uh, powers to be innate. Maybe the Hello World upgrade is not a bad idea. That would effectively fill up my hand because I already have 50 common and uh, uncommon cards. So having an extra common card every turn might not be a bad idea. All right. So here, let's start up with FTL. All right. There's Genetic Algorithm. Then I would have to play Boot Sequence too, which is fine. Let's do Genetic Algorithm, Boot Sequence, Hello World, and Darkness. Okay. Next turn, I might have trouble. I do have an Attack Potion and an Energy Potion. So hopefully with those two, I do have Compile Driver. That's kind of nice. Um... How do I do this? I could rebound the recursion, then get rid of the dark orb. That's not a bad idea. Let's rebound the recursion, then do compile driver. Okay. And then if I drink the energy potion, the recursion is enough to kill this one. Beautiful. And now with the Orcalcum and the plated armor, I should be fine. So, uh, yeah, I'll do go for the ice and storm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just have to make sure I don't accidentally gain a little bit block more than, well, less than six, I guess. All right. Here, I think I'll just do beam cell and streamline. Actually, yeah, let's do loop as well. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, I wonder if I should get the Dark Orb up front. No, I think I'll kill too quickly. Uh, let me do Rebound the Rip and Tear. Okay. And then um, I don't think I need to play anything else. Although I did have to Turbo, I could play the Rip and Tear again, but I can also just do it this turn with the Streamline. Nice. Perfect. This one I got Preserved. Insect enemies in lead combats have 25% less HP. Loop Melter Storm. So I already have one Storm and three loops. Yeah, let's get a collector bonus on the loop first. Okay. Here, I wonder if I should upgrade a storm. Um, because or I already have the um I already have one Hello World innate. You know what? Let's build a power deck. Let's upgrade the storm. I also have the boot sequence, so I should be able to defend on turn one. Oh, Alright, we got ancient T side one of the enter rest side side Nethcomb with two extra energy. Okay. And then I got the slaver here. Yeah, let's do storm, hello world. And then I guess I'll do there's nothing. Yeah, there's no need to do anything because I have our Calcum. Who's my final boss by the Oh, um, I have to lose HP. I still have another regular fight after this, but maybe I should start losing HP here slowly but surely. Yeah, especially because I have uh, Lightning Orbs. Um, here, let's do Reprogram. That's a good idea, okay? That way the Lightning Orbs don't deal as much damage. Yeah, I think I'll speed this up. Oh, actually, with our Calcum, I'm still getting a lot of block. I still think I will speed this up, and I'll hopefully be back in a bit. So, um, well, with, with fewer HP than I already have. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I wasn't able to lose any HP, which is unfortunate. Let me make sure I do that in the next fight. We got Symbiotic Virus at the Savage Combat Channel 1 Dark. That should make over getting overkill pretty easy. And then, yeah, so here let's try to be a little better. You know what? Maybe I'll skip the storm. Yeah, that might be better. Uh, let's do Hello World, Compile Driver. And then, actually, I think I'll do... Can I get overkill? Yeah, let's do Loop. No, uh, let me do Hologram. That way I'll take some damage this turn. Okay. Yeah, I do want to drop down to probably 23, because I don't think I can heal, right? Yeah, let's drop down to 23, so um, I think I'll speed this up. I'll be back in a bit. Yeah, really the goal is to lose to drop to 23 before killing, so I'll be right back. Okay, I dropped down to 16 HP, and my have my, my Dark Orb was able to deal more than 200 damage, so let's do that, get Overkill out of the way. Got Regal Pillow, one of the Arrestian additional 15 HP, which I'll take, because I don't have to rest. And then here, I can't afford the Shovel, which would have been nice, but um, I don't mind taking Powers here, Self-Repair, not super necessary, but would make the Storm better. Uh, how many Turbos did I have? Just one, I thought I had more. Um, yeah, FTL is nice too, I think I'll focus on cards here, yeah, let's try to get Collector Bonuses, so... Actually, I, yeah, yeah, I don't have to worry about relics at all. Um, let me take the... Oh, actually, the uh, Essence of Steel might be necessary, too. Let's take that for four-plate armor, then take Turbo, FTL, and I can uh, not afford anything else. Yeah, that's fine, though. I'm, I'm happy with this decision. I think the Essence of Steel might be important in a pinch. There's a regular fight where I don't have to lose HP, because I already lost plenty. Let's do Storm, Hello World, Boot Sequence, Go for the Ice and Darkness. Okay. Right, and then another 10. Let's do FTL skim. Okay, I can do barrage. Uh, wait, I would like to do, hang on, steam barrier recursion. Okay, then do sweeping beam. And uh, oh, I am actually going to take some damage here, which is fine. Yeah, it's only 12, though. If I drop down to at least 11, that might have been a little better. Here I do loop, heat sinks, and that's enough to kill. All right, that fossilized helix, that's kind of nice. Prevent the first time you would lose HP each combat. Okay. And then here I got the tiny grumman knob. Um, oof, not the best start here. Let's do storm, hello world. I guess I'll do recursion and wait. Okay. I'm able to gain 11 blocks, so hopefully it's the small attack. Yep, it is. Good. Uh, let's do heat sinks. Go for the ice. Compile driver. FTL. Do I want to do cool headed? I don't think it'll hurt. Okay. And I should be able to kill. Yeah, with the orbs, I'll be able to kill next turn. Okay. Beautiful. We got Thread Needle, so I come with four plate armor, so that's nine total, plus another four I could get from Essence of Steel. That's kind of good. Another Fire Push, which I don't think I'll take. I'm offered another Self Repair, but no, I think I'll take the Hologram here. Hmm. Alright, next upgrade. I already have upgraded the only things that become a NATO upon an upgrade, so I don't think I need to upgrade anything more. I wouldn't mind upgrading more powers, though. Yeah, yeah, let's upgrade. Let's upgrade the loop here. Okay. And I wouldn't also mind picking up more powers now that I have two and eight powers at the beginning, including the storm. And there's a Genetic Ogulum. All right, let's do Storm, Hello World, and Genetic Ogulum. Actually, having a Heat Six, I should have upgraded that. Having a Heat Six on turn one would have been great. Okay, 12 incoming. Um, I, Hang on, I have nine plus six. Right, I have 15 already without having to worry about... It. Actually, let's do one Cool Headed. I think that's a good idea. And then I'll do a Streamline here. Okay. Yeah, 15 block without having to do anything. 
Alright. Maybe I'll just wait for the Dark Orb to grow then. Especially if I can get it. Oh, no. If I do loop, I'll evoke the Dark Orb. Let's do Recursion first, then do loop. Okay. And then I'll do Ball Lightning because I do want to get... I don't want the Frost Orb up front. Alright. Let's do FDL as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. There's another Recursion. That's really nice. Let's do Recursion uh, Heat Sinks Loop. Okay. Beautiful. I got the Dark Orb up front again. Awesome. And now it's growing twice as fast. Okay. Mm -hmm, 48 already. Um, let's do FTL. Go for the ice. I don't think I'll do ball lightning. I kind of wanted that. want that uh, Dark Orb to grow a little bit more. So I think I'll just wait here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too bad I don't have something like dual cast. It is growing fast enough that I don't think I have to worry about things too much. Um, I could do recursion again. Yeah, and then let's hologram. There's a power here, right? Uh, was it the... Uh, what power did I just have that I thought I couldn't play? I thought I had a power. Never mind then. Um, must have been just an attack. Let's do the ball lightning, I guess. Okay. All right. Actually, I could have done turbo cool stuff to get the dark orb up front, but I sh I'm pretty sure I can evoke it very easily. Uh, yeah, if I do loop and then cool snap. Awesome. All right, perfect this one. No trouble at all. Um, multicast core search or reboot. I will go for popper in a, in a large deck like this. The rare cards are not going to make that big of a difference. Empty cage, nuclear battery, or runic dome. I don't think I need runic dome. I don't think I need empty cage either. Let's take the nuclear battery at the service combat channel one plasma. I do. Um, I mean, I am. I am able to evoke orbs very easily, so that would give give me an. Yeah, I don't really think I need extra energy anyway either. All right, so uh, two lead path on the left or middle. So if I start in the left and then go right, I'll only get three question mark rooms. If I start in the middle, I'll get an early question mark room in the shop and then also three. Wow, this is a disappointingly low, disappointingly low amount of question mark rooms. At least if I go on the left, I can avoid a shop. If I don't have, if I, if I don't feel I have enough gold on the right, I would have to take a shop. On the left, I also am forced two rest sites, whereas on the right, I am forced none. Okay, fine. Let's go for the shop then. Actually, I can avoid the shop on the right as well. Yeah, let's avoid the shop then and also avoid all the rest sites and still the, uh, get three question mark rooms. Okay. All right, Sphere Guardian. Let's start off. Oh, Heat Sinks is great. I think I'll start off with that. All right, let's do Storm, Heat Sinks, then Hello World. Okay. And then, uh, well, Compile Driver is fine. Yeah, it's okay. Hmm. I still have a buffer, which is nice too. I could do Recursion. Let's do that for Energy. Then do Compile Driver, Ball Lightning. Uh, rec no, uh, let's do Darkness, then Recursion again for even more energy, even though I don't really need that. Okay. Hmm. Another 20. Um, I think I'll do Loop 1, Loop 2, and then that should be enough to kill with the Claw. All right, we've got a whetstone up and pick up. Upgrade two random attacks. That's cold snap and go for the S upgraded, which is fine. Nothing amazing. Goes in here. Look at this hand. Wow. All right. Um, let's do, yeah, Storm, Hello World, Loop 1, Loop 2. And unfortunately, I don't have anything to do with that extra energy, but I have lightning orbs and three loops. Okay. Uh, let's do Streamline. Go for the ice and recursion. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm basically leading on 9 plus 9, 18 damage every turn. And I think, oh, Genetic Algolim is great here. And I think I should be able to kill here with a go for the ice. Beautiful. A Tensin Rod, one of you, whenever you lose HP, lose one less. Really nice. And then here, let's see. Uh, I guess I'm only losing, not the 16, but what was it? Four less. So only lost 12 HP to get Incaridian at the Savage Combat. Add a random power card into your hand. It costs zero for that turn. I really need that Heat Sinks on turn one. That would be great if I get a Bottle Tornado. All right, look at that. Electrodynamics. Let's start up with Storm. Electrodynamics. Hello World. Ball Lightning. Okay. Not a bad start. Mm -hmm. All right, so here I'm getting confused, though. That might be a problem. I do have a lot of zero-cost cards. Well, I also have a free hologram. Let's do Streamline. Hologram the Streamline. Okay. Um, then I can do Loop and Cold Snap. All right. Mm -hmm. And then I just need very little damage to kill next turn. Uh, do I want to wait for a genetic algorithm? Yeah, it might take too long. I did play it a few times, so it's not completely useless. We got a Kabiko, your first attack, each combat deals eight additional damage, as well as a duplication potion, which might be better than the fire potion, I think. All right. Okay, Centurion Mystic. I already got Overkill, right? Is there any way to get combo? I would need to... Hang on, let's start with the Hello Worlds. I would need to get the... Um, what do you call it? The heat sinks ready early, and that just seems unlikely. Um, I can just do reinforce body together with the plated armor to be fully defended here. Mm -hmm. All right, another twelve. Uh, let's start with yeah, no multi hit. So let's do compile driver first, then recursion, then loop. Okay, uh, cool headed. Actually, can I bring back a recursion? That way, I'll gain even more energy. Compile driver and. Um, 
I don't think I'll do reprogram. Yeah, I am a uh, full defendant here anyway, so yeah, no reason to play anything else. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, not being attacked here. Let's, uh, I don't even know what to rebound. Can I hologram something useful? Compile driver maybe for the card draw. Let's do that. And then I'm going to rebound that compile driver. Okay. And unfortunately, there's a turbo, so I can do streamline, kill with the claw, and then target the backliner. Uh, actually, if I do cool headed, I'll bring back the uh, compile driver, which I can't play, right? So let's wait. Mm -hmm. All right, and then here let's do FTL Turbo Streamline Ball Lightning. I can do Loop. Doesn't give me energy back, but actually let's do Barrage. That's enough to kill. Good. Got Mercury Eyeglass at the start of turn. Deal three damage to all enemies. Not bad. And then a tiny Grumman Leader here, who is attacking me on turn one. Um, let me start off with I think Storm first, then. Cap Pass it. Wait, can I defend? That's actually a lot of incoming. I would need to kill one of them. I have Akibiko. But wait, 1827. No, I have trouble defending, right? Um, I do have an attack push too. Let me see what that gives me. Hyper Beam is too dangerous, I think. I don't think I need Blizzard. Well, Beam Cell with Akibiko would kill this one too, right? Um, I could also hope for the Lightning Orb. So I think I'm going to do Capacitor Hello World. Then kill this one with the Ball Lightning. Then do Beam Cell. Actually, I, if I do Darkness, that kills this one too. Okay, good. So now 18, I have 9. Um, I think with the... Wait, with our Calcomat 15, with my Plated Armor, I should be able to fully defend here, okay? Well, with the Plated Armor and the uh, Buffer. Okay, so not being attacked here. There's a Genetic Algolum. A little unnecessary, but fine. Uh, I think I'll do Cool Headed. Hope I get something good. Nope. Alright, that's a lot of wasted energy there. I have 4 leftover energy still. Okay, and Backlash not attacking. Good. Uh, let's do Barrage. That will be uh, 4 times 5. Yeah, 20. Enough to kill this one. Then Ball Lightning. Hopefully with an Orb would be enough to kill this one too. Actually, can I hologram? No, I don't have energy for a Barrage. I could have considered hologramming a Barrage. That would have probably been better. Okay. Mm -hmm. If only I can evoke the Dark Orb. Um, I think... Hang on. Let's do FTL 1, FTL 2. Actually, Barrage is enough, right? I can just bring back that uh, and uh, kill with it. Awesome. All right. No trouble there. That Tauron Reath Optum. I'm going to use a potion. Heal 5 HP. I get a program force field. As, even though I have a program already, I'll take an aggregate. Because with, with the right cards, I could get combo that way. All right. Not being attacked. That's good. Let's do Storm. Creative AI. Hello World. And then I don't think I'll do Chill. I'd rather have the Plasma for later. Actually, with the Creative AI, I might get um, Heat Sinks here. Uh, let's do Cool Headed. See what I get. Um, hmm, nothing amazing here. Let's do Buffer loop uh no let's do hmm, this is tough i do want to defend too i could do reinforced body right that would be enough or i can just get a bunch of frost orbs six plus 15 would be 21 um so if i do cold snap cool headed and then no wait loop is not enough but it gets me close fine okay yeah i'm only losing actually i have two buffers so i'm losing one buffer another 21 there's another creative ai I mean, um, not sure about that. Uh, yeah, wait, I could also defend. No, fine, let's do Creative AI here again. Okay, so I'm losing another buffer, but hope. Oh, actually, I I'll kill too quickly. Yeah, I forgot how much damage I'm dealing with my Lightning Orbs. That's a bummer. There's a Heat Sinks, but unfortunately too late. All right. We got Toxic Egg. One of you add a skill into deck, upgrade it. That's kind of nice. And then going left for the next Elite, right? So I have to skip the shop, which is fine. I'd rather save my gold for the next shop. All right, let's do Storm, Hello World, Loop. Static Discharge, Compile Driver. I should have done the Compile Driver first. That would have given me an extra card draw. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm confused here. 15 incoming. I can rebound something. Not sure what that should be. I could rebound the, the Reinforced Body if I want to. But I am fully defended already. Let's do Charge Battery. I think I'll do Loop. And then, um, I don't know, rebound the Hologram. Do I have a zero cost card? Yeah, let's do another rebound. Why not? Okay. All right, another 15. I can do FTL 1, FTL 2, cool-headed. And is that enough? Yeah, the orbs are enough to kill there. Good. Okay. Got gold plate cables. At your rightmost orb triggers, it triggers its passive initial time. That's really nice, as well as a strength potion. And uh, yeah, it doesn't matter which of these chests I take. We got happy fire. Every three turns, get extra energy. Really good. And then here I got the shell press and fang abyss with an electrodynamics at the beginning. That's really nice. Let's do hello world, cold snap. And then I'm, I don't even need to defend at all because I'm fully defending against the 15. 
Yeah, I think lots of plated armor and the Arakalcum do make things very easy. Let's do ball lightning, a loop. Okay. Then, uh, wait, I do have to be a little careful here. Nope, nope, I'm fully defended already. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I should be able to deal enough damage with the... No, not with the loop. I just need something else. Good. Got pair up and pick up race from extra by 10. Very nice. As well as a fire push, which I don't think I'll take. And second elite here, I got these slavers. Last condition is interesting. Hmm. So this one might be a challenge, right? Let's do... Wait. Um, so I need 32. I, it's unlikely I'll be able to kill. What if I duplicate this? That's 26 plus 9. That's 35. I might have to drink the du duplication potion here just to be safe. And then I'll do Storm Bias Cognition. Okay. Um, let's do Recursion to keep that Dark Orb, then Loop and Hello World. Okay. All right. Yeah, without that uh, duplication potion, I would not have been able to break this one. And then here, let's do... Um, can I hologram a recursion again? Yes, yes. Let's do a recursion to kill the backliner. And then I, I should be fully defended. And I can just slowly but surely deal damage here. Let's do heat sinks as well. And then sweeping beam. All right, that should be enough. Good. Yeah, with that potion, it was, it was easy. We got Centennial Puzzle. The first time, lose HP to combat, draw three cards. A dexterity potion and cold snap charge battery or cool headed. I have two cold snaps, two cool headed, and two charge batteries. Great. Um,. Well, let's take the other cool-headed because it is upgraded and it draws me more cards. I don't think... I already got overkill, so I don't think I need a ritual dagger here. Let's take the gold instead. And then here, I will choose ideally... Oh, boy. There's a second aggro. There's a second heat sinks. Uh, what about a storm and upgrade that? Or I can take a cool-headed and get a collector motors for that. Let's do that. Make, keep it easy. Okay. All right. So turn mystic again. All right. Uh, let's do storm by ignition one more time. Hello world, cool headed. Okay. Oh wow, that was unfortunate draw there. Let's do boot sequence to be fully defended. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another twelve. Um, I'll do compile driver one, compile driver two, then play the go for the ice. Okay. And then I'm fully defended. Let's do. Should I do recursion? Let's do recursion. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Both have eleven. Both will heal back to twenty-seven. Okay. And then here I got Aggregate, Ball Lightning 1, Ball Lightning 2. That's enough to kill the Backliner. And Blizzard is unfortunately a little useless. Uh, actually, no, I don't have any loops, so... Wait, no, never mind. That was enough. Thanks for doing dark, uh, cold pick of cables, right? Yeah, Juju based on normal enemy comments are no longer encountered in question mark rooms. That's good. A Liquid Memories potion might be better than the next potion. Let's take it. Okay. And then here I... Don't honestly don't know what to upgrade next. Uh, aggregate doesn't seem necessary. What about card draw? I had a skim, right, that I wouldn't mind getting upgraded. Yeah, let's upgrade the skim. Yeah, so now I just need to get the aggregate and the skim in the same turn. And that should increase my chance of getting combo. All right, so once again, it's a little dangerous to start up with bias cognition. Actually, I think I'll do heat sinks first because I have the energy, right? Let's do heat sinks, then storm, then bias cognition, then hello world, then loop. Another loop, okay. Another loop, all right, that's a lot of loops played there. Okay, that was not a bad start at all. Mm-hmm. All right, 14 incoming. I am losing, um, what do you call it, focus here. Let's do generic algorithm. That is enough with the plated armor. Then do sweeping beam. Um, oof, I don't have a lot of energy. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll do ball lightning here. And might as well do claw. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so this one took FTL. This one took another loop. Wait, did I have... Uh, why do I have so many loops? I must have gotten one from the um, Incaridian, right? Okay. All right, so here I don't have a lot of energy. Let's do skim, hoping I get an aggregate. I did not. Um, let's do go for the ice. Can I hologram something useful? Not really. Um, Blizzard is not that great. Uh, I think I'll do... Hmm. Let's do another loop. Okay. And then I'll do cold snap. I have at least one frost orb out. Okay. I do still have a buffer, so if I can save it for the big attack, that would be good. Mm -hmm. 28. There's a stack. That should be enough. Good. Let's do FTL first. Um, I don't think I need to rebound anything. Um, barrage is fine, but not necessary. Wait, so I have 6 plus 6, 12. I actually don't need to play any any defensive cards because I have enough with the uh, Urkel completed armor and my Frost Orb. So yeah, let's just do attacks. I don't probably don't want to do loop, though. Actually, it's not a bad idea. No, let me rebound the Barrage, and then I'll do Cold Snap. Okay. So I have 27 block, all right. And then thanks to the loop, I'll get another 15. Beautiful. All right. Uh, let's do cold snap, all lightning, 
And then I'll do barrage again. Okay. So here I can just use my buffer or, or I can try to defend. I think that's not unlikely for me to be able to defend. There's an aggregate FTL. Go for the ice sweeping beam. And I uh, actually don't need much to kill here. Leap. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll just lose my buffer here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I just need 20 or 19 damage. That should be doable with Streamline and Ball Lightning. Awesome. All right, perfect this one too. We got Hyper Beam Multicast Device Condition. This is the second time I'm being offered a multicast, but no, I think I'll reject it. And then definitely going to go with the Column Bell up and pick up, obtain a unique curse and three relics. Not only will that give me a, a curse, Curse of the Bell, but it also gives me oddly some stone starch, come with one dexterity. White Beast Statue pushes away superior in combat towards. A lot of people mentioned that, that that is what caused them to do really well yesterday. And Unseen Top, which is really nice to try to get combo. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. Okay. So really now I need to get that aggregate up front and try to, uh, yeah, try to play 20 cards with it. One, two, there are two two lead paths. If I go on the left, I'll get two early question mark rooms, and then a third, fourth, and fifth one. If I go on the right, I'll get three early question mark rooms, and then only a fourth one. Ooh, this is tough. Um, I think I should maximize question mark rooms. Now, if I go on the right, it increases the chance of me being able to get the normality event, and I have another shop to spend right afterwards. Whereas if I go on the left, it's slightly lower chance for to get the normality event and no shop. Because I need a shop very urgently, I think I'll go on the right. So I will skip a question mark room, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that would increase the chance of me being able to get the normality event because I already have two curses. So I just need um, the normality event and one more. Yeah. All right, let's do a storm to fragment. Hello. Oh, I should have done FTL first. So silly. Yeah, I should have drawn an extra card. Okay. No, oh, actually, I had the unseason top. Yeah, I should, have, I should definitely try to keep at least my turn one going. All right, let's do loop one, loop two. Ball Lightning to gain energy, then Streamline, Claw, and um, go for the ice. Okay, I think I'll lose my buffer here, right? Nope, nope, the orbs killed this one. Good. Okay. And then uh, 18, let's do, let's see, Cool Headed, Genetic Argonum is nice, Compile Driver, uh, go for the ice and Heat Sinks. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this one's going to come back to life, right? Yeah, fine. I guess I don't have a lot of good AoE damage, right? That might be a problem for my for me. Uh, let's do Streamline, Barrage, and then who needs AoE damage if you have so much damage with the orbs? Good. Got Kunai. Every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain one Dexterity, as well as an Energy Push, which I don't think I'll need. I'm happy with the energy I have. Remove a card and upgrade a random card. I don't think I need to upgrade anything. I Well, I don't think I need to remove anything. Sorry. I think I can just upgrade to random cards for 40 gold. That's Turbo and FTL upgraded. Okay. All right, here I got the orb marker with 10 incoming. Yeah, let me try to use Unseen Top. I'm also going to count card just in case. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I do have plenty of energy. 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, let's bring Turbo back. 11. Oh, okay. I got stopped by a cursor. I still have two cursors in my deck. I can't go on indefinitely, unfortunately. All right, here, let's go for the S Compile Driver 1, Compile Driver 2, and then kill with the Orb, and uh, Loop does it too. Okay. Got Dreamcatcher, and if you rest, you may add a card to, into your deck. That might make me consider resting, actually. I don't think I need a Fire Potion, because I already upgraded everything I need to get upgraded. All right, so here, let's try to get Common one more time. Although, this time, I don't have the, um, the Turbo. Let's do 1, 2, 3. Then 4. I guess I'll do 5, 6. Okay. Actually, I don't have any energy left for anything else. Fine, fine. Hmm. All right. Buffer is kind of nice. Uh, skim is good in case it gives me an aggregate. It did not. Can I hologram something useful? I can hologram another skim, but then I don't have the energy. Uh, let's do recursion to gain energy that way. Then claw. Ball lightning one, ball lightning two, recursion again. Okay. Should I have counted cards? That's six cards already, right? Then do cold snap one, cold snap two... And then recursion one more time. I still don't think that's going to be enough, right? And then buffer. Okay. Yeah, no, that was probably 11 cards or so. Definitely not 20. 16 incoming. There's an aggregate, but unfortunately, I also have a reinforced body. Uh, let's start with... Wait, can I evoke an orb? No. Uh, let's start with aggregate first. So one, two, three, four. No, unfortunately, the, the reinforced body messes it up a little bit. Might as well still play it. Actually, that was unnecessary, right? Because I was fully defended already, so that just wasted time. All right, 24 here. I'll do a loop capacitor and then go for the ice and compile driver with the orb sets enough to kill. Good. 
All right, we got Guyo Yuka now getting strength that rests up to three times. I'll probably do that. And then I don't think I'll need smoke bomb. I already have enough cool headeds. I don't think I have any scrapes. And I had only two crawls. Uh, sorry, not crawls, claws. Yeah, no scrapes at all. All right, let's take a third claw. Hoping to get maybe a fourth one offered magically at some point. And I'm going on the right, right? Yeah, I was hoping for the normality event. I didn't get it, which uh, means going on the left might have been a better strategy. Electrodynamics is huge here. That is, that is really huge. Let's do FTL first. Then Storm Electrodynamics, okay. Then Hello World, Compile Driver, Cool Headed, okay. Um, I think I can do another Cool Headed, go for the ice, and uh, here, let's recycle the leap and then see if I can keep going a little bit. Heat sinks, very nice. Awesome, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, another nine. I definitely will play the loop that deals six damage already. Um, should I do Streamline? Let's do that. And then um, anything into your hologram. There's a loop I wasn't able to play, right? Let's hologram that loop. And come. And then I can do rip and tear and wait. And come. All right, so next turn, this one is guaranteed to be attacking me. All right, uh, barrage is not enough. Generic algorithm is actually pretty nice. Let's do that. Let's also do barrage. And then I can do uh, blizzard, sure. Kills the backliner that way. And come. And then this one should be dead with my um, with my uh, loops there. Beautiful. All right, we got ceramic fish. Whenever you add a card to deck, gain nine gold. That's unfortunately not going to happen a lot. I also will take the focus push of the strength push, and I think that's more important. Compile driver leap or program. I already had enough compile. No, I had enough leaps. I did not have enough compile drivers. Beautiful. Let's get a collector bonus for that. Okay. And then here, I don't think I need to focus on the relics. Let's buy the cards. So I'll take capacitor, charge battery. I already have enough leaps. I really don't need another one. Um, let's take bullseye, melter. And then might as well take the po take the relics. Uh, I think I'll take lantern, so I just come with additional energy. And then ink bottle, one of you play 10 cards, draw one card. I think that's pretty much good. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I need the cauldron because I'm pretty happy with the potions I already have. All right. Yeah, I got the transient with the creative AI. Can I get a combo here? Let me try that. So one, two, three. Oh no, it's reinforced body. That always messes me up. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay. It's not too late if I get aggroed and skim. I haven't been drawing aggroed as much as I'd like, which is a shame. There is skim though, so that's one part of it. Let's do Hello World loop, then skim. All right, there is an aggroed. Okay, that's four. Five, six, seven, eight, um, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 with a giant goggle. Beautiful. That was a great turn. Just to be safe, I'll play a few more cards. Actually, that's it. Okay. I got the curse on the 22nd card, so I, I'm pretty sure I got combo there. Very happy with that. All right. Now I just have to worry about. Actually, I have a buffer, right? So I just have to worry about two more turns. Claw, another claw. Um, let me do turbo. Um, actually, I'm fully defended. Let's do loop just in case. No, I have, yes, 15, 17, okay. I guess I could have done go for the S. It wouldn't have hurt anything. Hmm. Another 57. Actually, not with all the loops. Uh, let's do heat sinks, barrage. Okay. And then streamline. And then that should be enough together with the uh, buffer next turn. Okay. Well, at least I got the uh, combo modifier out of the way. Can I finish in uh, less than 45? Well, it might be close. I only have 10 minutes left. Okay. Yeah, the loops are taking a lot of time to, you know, animate the, the, the orbs dealing damage. You got Bottle Flame before I take that. Let's take... Actually, no, I don't think I'll take the Colorless Potion. Bottle Flame, I'll pick up choose an attack card. So I'll each combat with this card in your hand. That should be something with card draw, right? What about Compile Driver? Because I already start up with three unique uh, unique orbs. Got Mob Bank, one of you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. Okay. And then here, I... Don't think I need to upgrade or actually resting is not a bad idea. It would give me card work, but no, let's gain strength a little bit. Okay, makes the barrages better. All right, and here I got the nemesis. Having the buffer is really nice against the nemesis. Uh, let's do storm loop hello world. I should have done compile driver first, it would have drawn me extra cards. Agger than skim again. Okay, let me see if I can kill in this turn. Go for the ice. I should play everything here. Okay turbo again that's a lot of energy and of course i got a parasite all right 20 wasted energy a little unfortunate mm -hmm. 18 i have 16 or oh, 15 already uh let's do loop cold snap and cool headed that brings me up to uh 18 uh 15 19 right and then let's do heat six as well and wait okay mm -hmm. 
Alright, can I deal 57 damage? Uh, let's do the FTLs. Bullseye Barrage. Okay, and then I'll play Genetic Algorithm. Unfortunately, wasn't able to deal enough damage to kill here. I have to wait another turn. Uh, two turns, really. 18. I should be able to pull a defend here, though, right? Let's still deal damage. That way, I'm pretty sure I, I should be able to kill next turn. Okay. Yeah, the orbs with the loop. Actually, the loop alone is enough, right? Beautiful. All right, I got a courier to merge and restructure cards, relics, relics, and potions, and all prices are reduced by 20%. As well as the potion of capacity might be really nice. Oh, boy. I am a big fan of all these, but among those, Liquid Memories is probably the worst. Potion of Capacity is the best. Cool-Headed Streamline, or... I already have enough Cool-Headeds, and only two Streamlines, and I think... Did I have enough? I feel like I had lots of Go for the Ice. Yeah, I had enough Go for the Ice, so the only thing I'll take here is the Streamline. Okay. I mean, I still have one question mark room that could be a shop, although I barely have enough gold to spend there. All right, two Storms this night. Let's do Storm 1, Storm 2. Uh, let me do Compile Driver first. Okay. Then Genetic Algorithm, very nice. Hello World, go for the ice and uh, Ball Lightning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, time wise, I still have some time. Okay. Alright, here, let's do FTL, Sweeping Beam, Compile Driver 1, Compile Driver. Actually, let's do Loop next. And then Claw. Ooh, actually, I'm going to take. Well, I'm going to lose my buffer, which is fine, because I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill things next turn. Mm hmm. All right, and then here, let's do Streamline and Meme Cell. Good. Okay, got one more. You get the next two curses you obtain. I mean, I'll take it because it's too late to get curses. Another potion of capacity is a little too much. Here, oh, oh boy. I'm okay losing the Blizzard. I don't, I already have Collect Most on the other, so I'm okay losing the Blizzard. It was not that powerful anyway. All right, Spire Growth here, not being attacked. Let's do Storm Defragment. Hello World. Again, should have done Compile Driver first. I should make that a habit. Let's do loop too, sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, I do have a buffer. Not a lot of max HP though. I have to be a little careful. Uh, let's do FTL again. Go for the S is good. Um, anything I need to hologram. Can hologram the boot sequence. Let's do loop first. Yeah, let's hologram the boot sequence. Okay. And then I think I'll do rebound the rip and tear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still full of defended. Still have my buffer. All right, and then here, Streamline, Sweeping Beam, and uh, Compound Drive is enough to kill. Good. Got Order 4. If you do not play any attacks during your turn, get additional energy next turn. And another Duplication Potion, but no, no, I think I'll stick with the potions I have. Do I want to rest? I think it might not be a bad idea to rest and gain another card. Who knows? Maybe it'll give me a Collector Bonus, Ball Lightning, Steam Barrier, or Barrage. Yeah, a Collector Bonus on the Ball Lightning. That's awesome. All right. Echo form at the beginning. That's really tempting. And I'm not being attacked. Really good. Let's drink these. Oh, actually, all three. Okay. Then do Storm, Echo form, Hello World. Then Compile Driver. Mm -hmm. And then I can do Melter. And I think I'll wait. No reason to uh, play everything I have. Okay. All right. 30 incoming. That is a lot. I am vulnerable. I do have Genetic Ogden that I can play twice, which is not necessary. I think it's better to play the loop twice. Okay. Then do Genetic Algorithm once. Ooh, Capacitor is really good. Let's go for the ice. Should I do Darkness? Yeah, let's do Darkness. Why not? Oh, I oh that was a mistake. I should have played another card. That was really silly. If I get attacked next turn, I um, I think I'll reload. Well, I could also just use my buffer. Um, wait, I have 13 plus 6, which is 19 anyway. Um, should I do... Not not aggregate. Let's do, let's do Steam Bear. Okay, no harm done here. Fine. It's a little annoying that uh, I had to waste the turn, basically. All right, not being attacked here again. Good. I have lots of energy. I think I'll double play the cool-headed. I wouldn't mind getting some frost orbs and also some card draw. Let's rebound the ball lightning. There's no reason to play anything else. I think I'll wait here. I don't have any extra energy anymore, though. That might be a problem. 42. Well, I did lose a... Wait, when did I lose a... Hang on. I thought I didn't lose a buffer. Because this might be a problem now. Let's do cool-headed twice. Okay. Then another set of cool headeds. Um, and then I can do chill. Wait, so I have 20 plus 13 is 33. I need 42. How do I do this? I think I have to do chill, then cold snap. So this is going to be 6 times 4. 24 plus 20 is 44. So even with the extra strength, I should be fine. But unfortunately, I can only, I can only play 2 cards, not 3. So I think I'll stop here. That way, next turn, I can at least play three cards. Okay. Actually, next turn, the enemy is transforming. Good, good. 
Um, do I want to get just a bunch of frost orbs? Could also be barrage, but that seems unnecessary. Yeah, let's do frost orbs. Um, let's do cool headed first, then cold snap, and that's it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So now I'm getting with the loop. It's two plus another seven. So yeah, lots of frost orbs. I think I should be fine. Do I want to do heat sinks loop? That might not be a bad idea. Let's do heat sinks, then loop. Okay, and then another loop. Yeah, that's that should be good. Uh, can I play a bunch of cards here? If I do turbo, it is upgraded. I can hologram a turbo again if I really need to. Yeah, let's do that now. Hologram the uh, upgraded turbo, which at the, is at the end. Then rebound the streamline. Oh, no, I am rebounding the turbo by accident. That's fine. That's fine. I can do ball lightning and recursion. Okay. A little dangerous because I don't have that many frost orbs anymore. But with the loop, I'm getting 20 block. That's good. 39. That is a lot. Let's do FTL twice. Another FTL. And then... Um, Oh boy, uh, let's rebound the compile driver, draw it with the sweeping beam, play the turbo, can I play another 5 cards, I could, wait, hang on, so if the enemy gets 2 extra strength, I'll be 15 times 5, so 45, I have uh, 33 plus 8, uh, with gold plate cables, so that's 12, that's 45, so I think I have to play some defensive cards, just to be safe, yeah, let me hologram the turbo again, just so I can trigger the transformation one more time, uh, yep, all right, and then do leap and compile driver, and that's it. Okay, good. All right, and time-wise, I still have a bit over a minute. Okay, actually a bit over two minutes. Yeah, I should be fine. Another 45. Um, let's do ball lightning twice. I think I should try to kill here, and I think I should be able to do that. Cool-headed. Uh, wow, look at that, a reshuffle. That was unexpected. And then, um, wait, this is 20. Not quite enough. Let's do go for the ice. Oh boy, claw. Hang on. Um, is recursion enough? I think recursion is enough, right? Because it's another twenty. Beautiful. All right, perfect this one. Very happy with that. Perfected everything, right? I got overkill combo. Very happy with this run. So fourteen ninety. I think it does come down to collector bonuses. Out of the six elites, I perfected all of them. Got beyond perfect. Even though I made a mistake against the time meter, got lucky with my uh, buffer. Overkill combo popper. Six collector bonuses. That's really good. Yeah, I like shiny light speed. Money, money. Just barely passed it too. So I think it all comes down to if I can try to get more collector bonuses but i think that should be a pretty good score yeah yeah eighth place i'm very happy with that you can sort of see the uh, next place after that has uh, 63 points more so i wouldn't be surprised if all of these are using glitches um so let's review i'm two points above Sita. interesting that might be because i took a path with one fewer question mark room right because i was really hoping uh, and i i think the rng for question mark rooms is the same so if i had gotten on the left i still don't think i would have been able to get curses so i think that's pretty much impossible and then i got uh that's interesting eight more points than steven i wonder if steven drastically decided to maximize regular fights to get more relics that could explain the point uh difference of eight points i got 25 points more than pelts could be an extra collector bonus and then same with pjam and yeah kuzmina so it looks like a lot of people were able to do really well but uh yeah i got a little lucky with those with that one extra question mark room being skipped and uh, me get, getting a regular fight out of it uh, anyway very happy with this run let's review the scores from yesterday all right, so yesterday was a silent run with the specialized modifiers that gave you five copies of Acrobatics, which was interesting, as well as Control Chaos and Became Hunter. So Ichu did really well here with 1654. Ichu perfected 11 of the 12 elites, which is really impressive. All the bosses got six collector bonuses, including getting one with Lawless Mirror. Um, so Ichu actually regularized, uh, re uh, sorry, prioritized regular fights uh, to get more collector bonuses, which was very successful for him. Congratulations. He also, just like I think pretty much everybody else, went for an early shop and was able to get White Beast Statue early. And I think a lot of people mentioned that all the uh, the potions really helped them so yeah i think that was that was an interesting strategy i skipped that shot because i think i had too little hp and i had to rest and that was a big mistake on my part uh, but yeah, really good score. Congratulations there. Cosmino got 1577. Cosmino also perfected 11 of the leads. Uh, all the bosses uh, only got, four, well, I, I say only, but got four collector bonuses, which is still pretty good. And then, yeah, just like Ichu also got the early shop with the White Beast statue. He also had two extra alchemize, which made it very easy to get more, uh, more what do you call it, potions. And uh, missed overkill, but was able to get combo uh, for, yeah, a top 20 finish. Then you have Vorpal here with 15, 1577 as well, right? Vorpal is tied with Cosmino. Uh, Vorpal uh, took uh, that early, a different path early on with that shop. Also got White Beast, White Beast Statue, also mentioned that it was huge. And then actually Vorpal considered taking a different path on Act 3 to try to get Curses, but didn't do it. Um, and uh, yeah, I should mention Malzan in his comment mentioned that he did that. And unfortunately, he still wasn't able to get Curses. So I think Curses was pretty much impossible yesterday. Then you have Rado and Peltzir tied at 1552. 
Um, then no family names here. Further down, you have Sita with 1495. I would have been able to get 1479 if I didn't make a, a somewhat silly mistake on act one, on the Act 1 boss. So that would have been a top 100 finish uh, as it stands now. I missed the 100 points there. Uh, then you have David here with 1477. Uh, David perfected 11 of the 12 elites as well. But unfortunately on the Act 3 boss, didn't get as lucky and missed one of the perfect one of the boss perfects. So missed the 100 points there. With those 100 points, he would have had a really good score too. Got three collector bonuses. And then most impressively, he went for Popper. Um, yeah. Yeah, in the big game hunter run i never go for popper but because he had singing bowl early on he thought that maybe instead of taking all the right cards he could just get max hp and you know be able to pull the game off with acrobatics and honestly it's really impressive he was able to perfect as much as he did without a card so yeah congratulations he also was able to get the well fed modifier unfortunately needed to feed three or not feed i guess use the singing bowl three more times to get an extra 25 points but still that's a pretty big achievement also was able to get overkill uh, sorry combo but missed overkill and any of the time modifiers then you have steven here with 1477 as well and then yeah you have to scroll down pretty far ahead to get to my score i end up in 186 place with 1379 would have been top 100 right i missed the act one boss i made a stupid mistake and cosmino mentioned that as well i should have used the gamma sprue that would have allowed me to be fully defended and i just missed it i also only perfected six of the 12 elites so did not do that well i got five collector bonuses which is not too bad but yeah no chance of getting curses i got a very lucky overkill with a catalyst right at the very end that dealt exactly 100 damage and i also was able to get combo thanks to two shift potions I missed the time modifier but was able to get i like shiny a few people did a little worse than that you have Malzan with 1341. Malzan perfected 10 of the 11 elites, as I mentioned. Uh, he tried to do what Vorpal was thinking about of skipping an elite on Act 3 to get curses, but that was not successful. He also missed the Act 3 boss, which uh, I think a lot of people struggled with yesterday. Got three collector bonuses and uh, missed overkill. He mentioned Stone Calendar was annoying because every time he was trying to get to deal more than 100 damage, the Stone Calendar would uh, kill enemies. And then uh, he also missed the combo modifier. Um, he, yeah, as others did as well, relied a lot on potions with the White Beast statue. And you also have Shadow with 1329. Uh, Shadow included a link to uh, the final screenshot. You can check that out on the comment from yesterday. Uh, he went for Highlander, actually, removed one Acrobatics and Astrolabe the other three, which is interesting, actually. I think nobody attempted to go for Highlander yesterday. Um, he perfected six of the 12 elites just like me and missed the Act 3 boss, even though he had two Ghost in the Jars and a Wraith form. So got a little unlucky with that. Um, um, but yeah, also missed the overcome combo on fire. So yeah, still not a bad score, but interesting approach to go for Highlander yesterday. Then you have Grimgoth who had a, who had a somewhat low score. He decided to go for Popper, but uh, did not did not do as well as uh, David did, and uh, didn't perfect any of the bosses. And yeah, probably mentioned that going for Popper was a mistake. I am not sure. It is definitely really difficult. So yeah, I I I, I wouldn't do it myself. Let's say that. And then Goldberg actually died early on. He ended up getting two regrets in the very fir first few question mark rooms. And those were just too much and he wasn't able to survive uh, Act 1. Anyway, that's it for yesterday. Let me know in the comments what you did for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.